Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out here at a friend's house. Uh, this isn't a um, arrowhead hunting video. I actually do a lot of things, and on my channel, I want to have a variety of things that I do, uh, the adventures that I go on, on the farm and other places. So I'm at my friend Jeff's house today, and on this occasion, we're here to check on a swarm trap. Now I'm on the camera here, and so I've hung this swarm trap up at my buddy Jeff's house and as you can see it looks like we have had a swarm move in a lot of activity right here around this swarm trap now I put these up in the spring my goal is always to have them up by March the 1st um, but with anything that is a goal and this year I didn't get them up until March the 15th um, however uh, what I find is that most of the swarms I catch typically are in early April um, and early to mid-April and then some towards towards May. But uh, this, this one moved in uh, about a week ago when Jeff notified me and he said he was seeing a lot of activity and I told him what to look for is you look for bees flying in with pollen. If you see honeybees carrying pollen into their nests, that means they're starting to gather supplies. Um, and the pollen is the protein, and the nectar is the carbohydrates um, that they use to feed themselves and their growing little larvae. And so, it looks like we've got a swarm here. So that's pretty cool. Now, these boxes are built out of plywood, and on the top, you can see it's stapled around. Um, that is aluminum. Um, it's the type of uh, aluminum that you would put on like the fascia of a house when you or when you aluminum wrap your metal wrap your windows or or door frames exterior stuff so I've had some left over from some construction jobs and I use that on top on the tops of my swarm traps now these are five frames a five frame swarm trap and there's about six or seven inches below the frames of extra room because what swarms are looking for a lot of times is room to grow and so I have my five frames and what I do with those five frames and I'll show you in a later video but with those five frames what I do is I put um, two or three frames of old comb in these swarm traps and then two to three depending on the ratio two or three um, empty frames that they can build on because when these guys swarm they are ready to start building when they get there sometimes they'll start building comb wherever the swarm lands before they find a home so they're ready to go ready to start laying eggs and um, and the queen is anyway and uh, they're full of honey before they leave their original house and start looking for a new one now I bait these with lemongrass oil I get that lemongrass oil I just went to Walmart and I'm going to do a video to show that it isn't that complicated. Literally it's a Q-tip and some lemongrass oil that I bought at Walmart for like three or four dollars and I think three or four dollars, it might be five or six dollars. And uh, you know, I, I dab a little bit here and there around the entrance on some of the frames, put it in a Ziploc bag, poke a few holes and stick it in the bottom of the trap and I hang them up and then I wait and see what shows up. So in this case, looks like a swarm of bees showed up which is pretty cool because a swarm of bees if you had to buy a nuke the last when I bought my original nukes they were about hundred and fifty dollars a piece and that's for a queen with her some of her existing bees and so this is essentially like getting hundred and fifty dollars worth of bees because there's a queen in here with her existing bees that she took with her when she swarmed and they are very active I see a lot of yellow pollen coming in on the bees on those legs they are full and they are flying in and out you can see them so this is pretty exciting just been wanting to start uh, keeping bees and so I told him if he let me hang a swarm trap up at his house that uh, I'd go ahead and set a hive up here for him to start doing and start working and learning how to do this so just want to shoot a short little video for you guys and uh, there'll be more bee videos to come